Hey, what is up guys? How's it going? My name of course is Womp and today I'm going to show you how to set up and format a new hard drive for your computer on Windows 7. Alright, so trust me guys, this is way easier than you think. First thing you just gotta go do is right click on computer and then you go click on manage and then in the left hand column you're gonna see storage and you're gonna wanna click on disk management which is right under that. Now as you can see, I already have two drives set up. I have my solid state drive which is my C drive, which means I have the Windows operating system installed on it. And I also have a WD Black 1 terabyte hard drive. So if you look next to disk 2, you can see that next to it there's like black bars and next to the other ones there are blue bars. The blue ones means it's already formatted. And also next to the disk 2 it says unallocated, which means it's not set up yet. Now the first thing you gotta do depends on the capacity of the drive you're trying to install. I'm pretty sure only two terabytes and up need to do this step that I'm about to show you. I have a WD Green three terabyte, that's what I'm about to set up, so that's why I have to do this first step. Now, if you look next to disk two again, you will see that they're like kind of split up. You have the 2048 gigabyte section and the 746 gigabyte section. Now, maybe you guys may want this, but personally, I don't want this. I just wanted to combine them, you know, make it one three terabyte uh, drive rather than like allocate some space. So if you do want them to be combined like I do, what you got to do is on whichever disk isn't allocated yet, again for me it's disk 2, you got to right click on the part that says disk 2 on the left column and then you go click on convert to GPT disk. Now this will combine both of those things as you can now see. And Now this is where everyone will be on the same track here. All of you guys are going to have to do these next couple steps. So what you want to first do, just right click on the unallocated storage space and then click on new simple volume. When you do that, the new simple volume wizard will pop up. Just click next on the first slide and then you'll come to this specify volume size. Now this is where if you didn't have those two sections already, you can allocate space right now. So, you know, maybe you want a section just for games, maybe one just for videos. Personally, like I said before, I just want this to all be the same drive. So I just put the simple volume size and megabytes all the way as high as it can go. Then you click on next and it lets you assign the driver letter. This can be anything you want except for uh, drive letters that are already taken. So I decided to go with G just because it's a WD green and, you know, easy to remember. So this is just going to be a simple setup. This is how you do it as fast as possible, like all the simple settings. So don't worry about anything else on this page. Just click next. And then on the next page, it's, you get to format the partition. Um, so just make sure format this volume with the following settings is clicked. And then for this file system, make sure you keep it on NT. FS, that's just the newer Windows file system, and keep allocation unit size on default. And then it allows you to uh, label the volume. Uh, as you can see, I decided to name it WD Green 3 Terabytes just so I know, you know, what drive it is. And so, but you can name it whatever you want, really doesn't matter. And then make sure you click on perform a quick format. Uh, because this is a new drive, quick format is just like the easiest possible thing you can do. When you click next, it'll bring you to something that just has a list of all the settings. So if you want to check it over, you can, but let's just click finish. And then it'll load, and before you know it, your new hard drive will be formatted. As you can see, now it has the blue bar next to disk 2 instead of the black one, and it doesn't say unallocated anymore. So yeah, guys, it's really simple. You also get this autoplay pop-up that comes up. You can click on it and see what's already in there. All right, guys, so that's how you set up a new hard drive or solid-state drive. Hope this helped you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was what you're looking for. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, suggestions, anything, like that please leave it in the comments section below again guys thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you next time yeah.